live from beautiful Stink of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina, where they love to say, keep pounding, ever since the Tommy DeFist incident back in 13. We all remember where we were that day. I still remember the beautiful screams. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The New Gorland Zombies battle the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he punched. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third down and three. They go to the ground game and pick up the... I know how they said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Not one. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Just one. Just had some fun on your time. It's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. And that player has one speed. He, and that's just a great run for a touchdown. With moves like that, you know he's got a screw loose. Hey, can we get a handyman out there? Somebody? Drill? <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He could go all the way. The 10. He might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. Well, some would argue that demons don't have a place in this league, but with moves like that, <laughs> I have to disagree. No, you're just saying that because he ripped your face off and used it for book binding. I don't see how that's not a valid reason. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Yeah. 
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. It's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Three. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I knew the guy should have fucking caught it. One, hot two, hot. It'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two... Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! Boom! Dead and down! He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two... Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Second down in a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Come on, Ben. That was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot and that's why they call it the money shot. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and two. Tired of the quarterback tight spiral. And then on Sportsmanlike Play of the Day, brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. And it's first and ten. friends was an all-pro NFL hit second down and five Bam! 
say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. Yeah. <laughs> he did not see that coming, partner. Yeah, now the ground crew's gotta come out and pick him up. This guy really kills the momentum. There should be a penalty for that. And it's first and ten. Up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. A great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong team. You may have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful head, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo grip. Caught for the first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh man, the defense brought a sack once today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. <laughs> down and the punter is warming up. One, hot two, hot three. And he's off to the races. He caught it and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. Third down in the offense. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down and never gonna happen. Hot one. The defense knocked the pass down and quarterbacks hate that. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a super gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it.
And it's first and ten. Defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Don't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. Hot two, three. If the receiver runs away from the pass marker, that's a good clue that something's not right. Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. First down. This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can. Uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. I don't think we can have it. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Sorry, partner. Oh, oh, he did not see that coming. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. the ball into the defense, picking up seven. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Uh, there's no QB. He don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second and three. 
Goldberg. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Brick. I think the defenders are scared of this with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned on the line, it wasn't a broad. My was... Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll bring up second and one. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. And so that's the two minute warning. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. QB says, I don't know almost throw interception. It's a real blow to the team. The defense is down to their last two defensive backs. Once they're gone, it's game over. Those poor safeties and cover backs are really getting beat up today. And it's first and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. Stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the refs some cash. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down.
The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And that's another pick. And he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The defense is down to only one defensive back on the roster. If they lose him and turn out to life, this party's over. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Rem. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> the quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. Oh, I missed it, Clem. I was out in the concourse grabbing some food, and there was this mutant leopard line, and he left in an angry hop. Why did he leave, Bricks? Yeah, well, people kept dipping their chips in him. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. First and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and one. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think the game warm it down is going to get a speed feed grip. He's running from his team. It's clear. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. A 
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. force meets the explodable object. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. One in for the first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. And he's in into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the cute. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck? <laughs> The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Second down and ten. was stuck to him like glue. Third down and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. I don't understand why they're going for it, Grim. This seems like the situation where they should always, always, always... He's got his beast boost working. Player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And he scores. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my sloppy here, Bryce. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. 
They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got... Ooh, oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. It's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and five. He's got a receiver breaking open and unleashes a bomb. He broke free and has open field in front of him. First down and six. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? <laughs> First down and forever. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ten. He is fighting for every yard. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. Third down and nine. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And this guy's like a human cannon. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The Carolina Panthers raise the white flag, which is splattered in blood and guts and lose by forfeit. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs>
Britton Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every other...